If you're like most fragrance enthusiasts, you've probably heard of Baccarat Rouge, that it expertly blends woods, musk, and spice to create a subtle yet long-lasting and incredibly addictive It Girl fragrance experience. But you'd probably also know that Baccarat Rouge is among the most prohibitively expensive fine fragrances on the market today. I mean, the two and a half ounce EDP retails for over $300. And I'm not trying to debate whether it's worth the price, but more whether that it's a price you're willing to pay for any fragrance. Because the dollars you put toward Baccarat Rouge are also dollars that you now can't put towards building your fragrance collection further. And maybe you already have Baccarat Rouge, but the issue is that it was so pricey that you just can't justify using it as an everyday fragrance. I'm frustrated that great fragrances like Baccarat Rouge are priced in a way that most people can't afford to purchase and wear them. Well, the good news is that there are many brands and products that were inspired by Baccarat Rouge that are designed to give the same essence and feel but at a fraction of the BR540 price tag. Today, I'm wearing Baccarat Rouge versus Bath & Body Works in the stars and I'm going to compare the two for you so you can get a sense of if and how in the stars measures up to Baccarat Rouge and ultimately whether in the stars uh, could be worn as a dupe so you can save your money and put it to other uses, even if it's just to buy more fragrance. When you compare the fragrance notes of Baccarat Rouge and In The Stars, you see a lot of similarities, but honestly, I tend to take the notes with a grain of salt and focus on the experience I'm having as I wear instead. What's striking to me is that Baccarat Rouge is the very definition of sheer transparent musk and woods, and I don't understand how something that feels so delicate on my skin can also make such a dazzling, delightful impact. When I'm wearing Baccarat Rouge, my skin feels clean and nuzzly and soft. I would never hesitate to wear this fragrance anywhere, to work, where strong fragrances can be discouraged, on a night out, um, where I'd want my fragrance to be noticeable, or at home, where I'd want a fragrance to just maybe boost my mood. In every setting, BR540 hits the spot. I do wonder if it's more appropriate to wear in summer months where the seasonal warmth might help the fragrance radiate from my skin, but many others actually say it's more appropriate as a cold weather scent because the fragrance projects too much in the summer heat. By contrast, the initial experience I'm having within the stars is a bit more aggressive. There's a spicy component that pokes out in the beginning, which ultimately gives way to a juicy fruitiness. I'm getting watery pear skin. It's actually rather enjoyable, but it's not consistent with BR540. Now, underneath the spice and fruitiness, I'm picking up the transparent musk and woods, but it's not the star of the show. It basically just makes an appearance in the dry down. Regarding fragrance performance, I'm not sure there are many fragrances that give you a bang for your buck like Baccarat Rouge. As long as you're not a nosmic to the particular musks in this fragrance, BR540 will envelop you in a delightful scent cloud that lasts and lasts. How long? Until your next shower. I mean, I woke up after wearing the fragrance for over 18 hours and I still smelled it um, pretty significantly on my skin. And on clothing, it lasts even longer, like days or weeks. As for in the stars, the fragrance is big and bold when I first apply, but as typical with a body mist concentration, the fragrance fades and ultimately disappears within a couple of hours on my skin. Of course, at body mist prices, you can afford to reapply periodically throughout the day, but that's just not necessary with Baccarat Rouge. So let me be completely honest with you. I've been wearing BBWs in the stars for multiple months now in different product formats and have completely fallen in love with wearing this fragrance. And going into my product review, I actually wanted to and expected to be able to tell you that in the stars was a completely adequate stand-in for Baccarat Rouge. But the second I put them both on to wear side by side, I changed my mind. While In The Stars definitely works hard and wants to be Baccarat Rouge, I could never in good faith tell you that In The Stars holds a candle to the magic that is Baccarat Rouge. The impeccable blending of BR540 creates a subtle and sheer yet substantial experience on skin that is so incredibly addictive and unique that In The Stars feels like a completely different fragrance by comparison. If I had never worn 
BR540, then I wouldn't have known what I was missing and I would have gone on to enjoy months, years, or maybe even decades as a loyal In The Stars wearer. It still may be my favorite BBW core fragrance, but now that I'm wearing Baccarat Rouge, I have to say that this fragrance is so worth it if you have the money to burn. There's a reason that BR540 climbed the fragrance ranks to be a top performer against the biggest and most powerful name brands in fine fragrance. And I really recommend that you put some on your skin to evaluate for yourself. Thanks for watching.